Hey guys, how about we do some surveying today? So I've got a property corner over here, just in the edge of the woods over here, about 20, 30 foot that I need to shoot. And I don't believe I can get in there with my GPS. So rather than waste my time with my GPS, I'm gonna set my robot up and my GPS and we're gonna shoot that pin over there. So I don't know if anybody had ever showed you guys how to do integrated surveying, but that's what we're fixing to do. I'm fixing to set up the S5, the R10, R10 Prism, and um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a resection, how to resect in your position with your robot, and how to turn around and shoot that corner back there. So uh, you guys hang on. Um, I've gotta cut a hole in the woods back here so I can see. So you guys watch this, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay guys, so um, we're gonna do some quick integrated surveying here. I'm gonna show you how to set all this stuff up. So let's jump into the uh, survey styles real quick. Let's go into settings, survey styles. I'm just gonna create a new style so you can see how it works. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna call this uh, S, how about we do caps, S5, integrated surveying so we know what it is okay style type we want to do integrated surveying for a style type except so what gun are we going to use we're going to use a vxs series what are we going to use for a survey style we'll use rtk or prism offset what you can do is go to help Once it loads the help file, you can scroll up and look and see. You can see the VX, S series, the Active Track 360. Okay, so here's the R10 360 prism right here. Uh, 0.028 meters. So let's close out of that. We're gonna put 0.028 M. That's gonna make 900. Now what that's telling us is that is from the center of the prism to the bottom of the quick release on our on our R10. So if we looked at the uh, prism or assembly, if we look at our prism assembly here, you can see we've got the prism and we've got the R10 and the R10 screws in top of the prism. What that does lets us measure from, nats are bad out here by the way. So the measurement, the 900s that we just pulled up is from the center of the prism to the bottom of this quick release where it screws into here. So what that lets us do makes us a secure connection here with the R10. So it's 900s from here to here. So whenever we're in robotic mode, the robot, we're going to use the center of the prism. That's what we're gonna use for a height. And then if we switch over to GPS, it's automatically gonna adjust for that 900 so that when we're using the GPS, it's got the correct elevation. So let's, uh, let's finish getting our survey style together here. We've got all that set up. Store. I'm gonna jump into my RTK survey style. Make sure I'm rocking an R10, yes I am. I've got all my satellites turned on, which is very important. We're gonna to go to the rubber data link. Internal, we're good. Okay, we're gonna store what we've got. Go back into general survey. So now I've already got the job opened up. I've already got my base started. So now what I've got to do is just start my rover. So what I'm gonna do is jump into that 
style that I set up, and I'm gonna go to resection. So now it's saying it's connecting to my GPS through the Bluetooth. So we'll let it make the connection real quick. Okay, we've got a connection. Temperature and pressure. This is pretty important, maybe not for what we're doing right now, but if you were shooting long distances, of course, the temperature and pressure would be pretty important. Um, it's actually pretty warm out here. How about we say it's 80 degrees. Recalculate parts from in. If you're not familiar with it, the, the gun actually um, has a barometric pressure uh, meter, I guess you'd call it, inside of it. So it actually reads its barometric pressure. So you can say from instrument. Won't read the temperature because the temperature can be so different between the inside and outside of the instrument that uh, you really just need to pull out your phone, see what the temperature is. If you're off a few degrees, it's not gonna make that much difference. Um, you're, we can get into another video on parts man and how all that stuff works. Anyways, let's roll on. Um, I'll get you carried away sometime. Instrument point name, okay. my. My base station or my, um, my GPS base station is at 1000, so I'm going to go ahead and call this number one. Okay, instrument point name, we're going to call it total station. Resect. This is just so I know when it comes in that it's the, um, it's a resection point and it's my total, where my total station is sitting. So instrument height's five, never put zero. I found out zero totally whacks everything out. Just put five foot in there and call it good. We don't have a nail set. I'm not planning on setting a nail. I'm not planning on coming back to this point. If I did, I would come back with my GPS anyways and be back on the same control. So, compute station elevation, hit accept. Okay, so it's looking for my first point. So let's see if we can't um, get this thing pointed towards the first point. Okay, so here's our first point. We're set up, robot's looking at us. Um, we're gonna make sure it's locked on us. We're gonna call this point name number two. I'm gonna call this uh, just resect. I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and search for us. found us. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to turn the track light on so we can see the track light. I'm going to say measure. It says point does not exist. Measure with GNSS. Yes, we want to measure it with the GPS first. Point number two, we're going to say measure. Okay. If you heard that twice, it um, actually stored the GPS position and because I've got the robot on tracking, it shot the second point as well. So uh, we got a GPS position stored and we got the first leg of our resection stored. So now we're gonna move over to our next point. That will get our position on the robot. You can do 10 of these resections if you wanted to to make your point better, but uh, we're just gonna do two for this exercise. Okay, here we are at our second point. Uh, we've already got our first point shot. We need our second point to be able to complete our resection. So uh, let's pull the gun around to us here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. See the flashing light. There are more. There it is. There. Okay, so now it's looking for us. Target locked. Okay, so now um, point number one was our instrument. Point number two was that one uh, that we just came from. So let's do point number three. There again, I'm gonna do R E C T. Those so are, oh, sorry, just R E C T for reset. Um, okay, so we're ready to shoot it. Uh, you can see the gun's locked on us. Uh, I'm gonna hit measure. Point does not exist. Measure with GNSS, yes. So I'm gonna hit measure. Okay, just shot. You heard both of them there. 
and my battery's about to die on my robot. Um, so uh, you can see that how we did that and now we've got our results. So now let's look and see, we're gonna hit results. And point number one, northing, easting, it's fixed us a scale to one. Standard airs, 500s on the north, 400s on the easting, 1100s for elevation. So, eh, we're not in a great spot, but hey, I'll take it. It's gonna put me within 500s of that point, um, which is probably a whole lot closer if I stood in there for 45 minutes trying to get it with GPS. Um, Okay, so now our GPS are ready. And what's cool about this part is um, the way this works, I can go in. So if I go into the toy stick, and let's say I turn that gun com completely around. And if I say search, it's gonna do a search centered. But if you'll notice down here at the bottom, there is a search with a little GPS on it. If I hit that one, you're gonna see that thing come around, lock right on me. So, okay, so we've got our position on the robot and everything, I'm gonna change the battery, um, and then we're going to shoot that point, um, that pin up there real quick. Okay, I changed the battery. So this gives me an opportunity to show you guys uh, one of the features uh, on this instrument. You change the battery out, it still remembers everything. So right now, if you look, we're in GPS right now because I switched back and forth. Um, if I click on that button, it brings me back into here. I can go back into tracking. When I do, the gun turns around, bam. So now I know I'm in the right, right place um, because the the GPS can actually find me. It didn't have to search for me, didn't have to look for me, didn't have to do anything. I turned it around 360. As soon as I hit measure, whoo, thing turns around, locks right on me. It's pretty cool. Um, okay, so now we're ready to go shoot that pin real quick. That's not gonna be real hard, right? We're gonna turn around, shoot that pin, we're gonna be done. Okay, anyways, um, you guys understand how all this works, right? We set up the survey style, we shot the first point over here, Went over and shot the second point. We did a resection. Always try to keep your resections as close to 90 as you can because of geometry. Uh, when you start having problems is when you start doing crazy stuff. Um, okay, anyways, enough chatter. Let's go shoot that point. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna shoot this point, uh, this rebar up here in the woods. So I've got my resection done. Um, now all I need to do is get the gun to turn to me. So what I will do is, I'm gonna say measure. When I say measure, that gun is gonna turn around and lock on me. So locked on me, I'm ready to shoot. Um, I could call this, how about we call it CP rebar. Store. Okay, so now just for grins, let's do this. Let's do, um, let's go to stakeout. Stakeout points. Let's stake out point number five. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna to switch to the GPS. And guess what? My GPS <laughs> is fixed inside of here. Crazy. Um, so, okay, I shot it with the robot. You, you know I was 500 off on my position on my robot because of my resection. Check it out. Um, north, basically about 500, which is about what I was off on my resection, right? So, looking at this, I'm off Five, six hundreds on the north, easting, three, four hundreds, and I've got a cut of anywhere from two to five hundreds. That is nuts. If, I mean, wow. You know what, guys? Let me, I'm gonna grab the camera and I'm gonna show you where I'm at. That's just crazy. 
Look at this. I'm up against that tree. Do our tents work in the woods? You know what? I'm a firm believer in GPS does not work in the woods, but I'm in the woods and I've got a fixed position. To me, that is just absolutely nuts. Uh, you guys can see where I'm at. Uh, there's nothing but trees in here. Huh? I'll be. That's crazy. But anyways, that's how we do a. Uh, that's how we do a resection, guys. Okay, guys. As they say, that's a wrap. Um, we set the robot up. Showed you how to do a resection. Uh, we came up here and we shot this point. Found out that the R10 works pretty good in the woods. Uh, it's crazy. I could actually use the R10 to shoot this point. But would I have known it was correct if I had it? Probably not. You know what? I know this point's correct now. That's something to think about. I'm pretty particular about uh, the measurements and the positions I put on my plat. I'm sure you are too. So to have that warm and fuzzy when you get back to the office that um, you know this point is good because I did a resection and I shot it with my robot and I staked it out with my GPS and you saw how close it was. So anyways, it's awesome guys. Um, as always, be safe. Um, don't cut your leg off with a machete or in my case, a chainsaw. And uh, man, guys, like and subscribe. You know, if this stuff is working for you and you're enjoying it, tell your buddies uh, to subscribe. Subscribe yourself. Like the content. Hit the like button. Uh, it's the only way I got to know if you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And um, by all means, I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, and I appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm.